Okay, so I've been wanting to study Ezekiel 38 and 39, so I decided I would study, I'd start at Ezekiel 1 and go back over that. And so things seem to jump out uh, of the scripture. And um, so the first question was, and I'll just ask both of them. Uh, I thought that just Jesus was referred to as the Son of Man. And I read in, I think it was Ezekiel, I think both of the questions come from Ezekiel 4, where Ezekiel is referred to as the Son of Man, and God's talking to him. The second question is, um, God told Ezekiel he had to cook his food over burning human excrement. God said, and then Ezekiel said, oh, no, almighty one, sovereign Lord, um, let he didn't want to cook it over that. And they said, okay, well, then God said, okay, well, then you can cook it over cow manure. And I just wanted some clarification on that. Why, if that is the case, why did God ask him to do that? Greg, you want to jump into this one? Yeah, I just, uh, I just pulled up Ezekiel 4 and and it's a great question, Darlene. I love people like you who don't just skim over what we read in the scripture and you're asking good, good questions. So uh, I'm proud of you for that. Let me give you an answer. Ezekiel 4 is talking about the, uh, the, the prophesied judgment on Jerusalem. There's going to be a siege in Jerusalem and, and Jesus and uh, well, we'll just say, well, in this case, we'll just say that God is an incredible teacher, and he uses visu uh, visual aids, just like Jesus did when, uh, when he taught. He'd say, look at the birds of the air, or the lilies of the field, or, or he would always he'd tag a biblical principle with something that people could understand physically. And that's what, that's what he, is, he is doing here. Uh, previously in that chapter, he also is telling uh, Ezekiel, that he needs to lay on his side for like 390 days, something something like that. So uh, was that literal? Yes. Yeah, that was literal. And when he is uh, saying here in Ezekiel 4, let me just read it. Uh, pick it up in verse 9. It says, also take for yourself wheat, barley, lentils, beans, millet, and spelt. I don't know what a spelt is, but then uh, them into put them into one vessel and make bread of them for yourself during the number of days that you will lie on your side, 390 days, and you shall eat it. And we skip down to uh, verse 12, and it says, you shall eat it as barley cakes and bake it using fuel of human waste. And here's the important part. Those next three words say, in their sight. See, this was going to be a visual aid to the people that were, uh, that were watching, watching him. And then again, in verse 15, he said, uh, then he said to me, see, I am giving you cow dung instead of human waste, and you shall prepare your bread over it. Either way, I'm not going to be excited to be eating any of that. That's the that's the point here. So uh, so yeah, it's something that we can take literally from the Bible. Good, good, good question. Great yes. job, Darlene. Excellent question, Darlene. And you know, when we look at the the Son of Man situation, God referred to Ezekiel because he was he was one who was ministering to his fellow man. He was like the Lord did for each and every one of us. The Lord is the Son of God. Obviously, Ezekiel's not called that. Uh, but he's also the son of man, and it was just a service that he had to his fellow fellow brethren and so forth. And when we look at Ezekiel, uh, and and as Greg just so greatly uh, shared, it, the people were in sin; <laughs> they were in sin, and judgment was a coming. It, the northern kingdom got judged by the Assyrian Empire, and the the southern kingdom is going to be judged by the Babylonian Empire. And, and they were so deep into sin, uh, and God was using all these various examples uh, of, through Ezekiel and what he was sharing with the people and in their captivities and so forth, and, and it was, it's, it's just, uh, it's tragic. It, you know, the, the people needed to repent, and they were so defiled with sinfulness that God used Ezekiel in all these weird situations, we'd call them weird, <laughs> to get their attention and to give them that illustration. So, uh, we're hoping that helps you out, Darlene, and that you've uh, 
been very blessed. And if you stay on the line, we'd love to send you uh, those two DVDs, God of Wonders and God versus Evolution, as well as the two books, 101 Last Days Prophecy and the Pastor Mike's book, It's Time to Grow. So I know that you're going to be blessed with that. Share with family and friends and invite people to church this Sunday, folks. Invite them all to church, family, friends, backsliders, whoever they might be. Let's get them That's all right. back to church and get them going. Amen. Amen.